I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go Hi guys, I'm Emma. Welcome back if you've been here before and if you're brand new. Today we're going to be talking about the books that I read in February and also planning out my March TBR. So that's our TV read, This Is Louis Bum. He has to feature in every video. Um, so I've just written down a list of the books that I read in February. I read four books, so it's still going strong. If you haven't seen my January, <laughs> what I read, if you haven't seen my January what I read, I'll leave it linked up there. You can go back. I actually read five books in January, four books in February. Um, so no audiobooks this month. Everything I read on my Kindle. Um, and today seems to be the month of the Kates and Katies. Um, three out of four of the author's name is Kate or Katie. So that was just an interesting thing that turned out this month. Um, so we'll start off with the first book that I read in February. I'm going to leave a picture of them out there because I did read them on my Kindle. Um, the first book I read, I actually finished on the 1st of February, so right at the beginning of the month, and that was The Furies by Katie Lowe. Um, I'll just read the synopsis really quick. Um, I gave this a three star, by the way. Um, Actually, the synopsis is really long. I won't read that. What I will do is just quickly tell you what it was about. So basically, this girl goes to this school and she makes friends with this other girl whose friend has recently died and she looks a lot like this girl's friend. So it was a little bit odd. And then lots of strange things keep happening. People keep dying. Um, it all just is a bit bizarre. Um, it's got really mixed ratings online so I mean maybe it's one that you would like to pick up but I quite enjoyed it. Three stars is like an average for me. I wouldn't read it again but I enjoyed reading it. The cover is really pretty um, with the girls hair all matching. Um, basically the tagline says you'd kill to be one of them, one of these four girls. So yeah I really really liked that one. Um, better than anything I read last month anyway. The next book I read was Neon Gods, which is part of the Dark Olympus series by Katie Robert, another Katie. Um, I gave this one a three stars too. It's obviously um, a, a Greek god kind of retelling. Um, so basically this is set around Hades and Zeus and um, Persephone. And basically Persephone is going to marry Zeus. She runs away because Zeus isn't a nice guy and she discovers Hades who they were all told like he didn't really exist. He wasn't even real. He just was like this myth. Um, it's, it's an adult book. Don't read this if you're not ready for that. Um, I, liked the, I liked it well enough. Um, it was a quick easy read. I think I read this in like a day and a half. I like half read, half listened to the audiobook, so I flicked between the two and it got that done really, really quickly. I enjoyed it. Um, I have read an, another um, retelling, like the sim a really similar story, and I can't remember what it's called now, um, but I think I enjoyed the other one a little bit more, but it was fine. I liked it. I gave it a three star, so I probably wouldn't read it again, but I enjoyed reading it the first time. And I don't think I'll carry on with the series. Um, some of the um, scenes in there are definitely too raunchy for me. So I don't think I'll carry on with the series, but um, it was fine for a one-off read. So the next book on the list was my highest rated for the month, and that was My Dark Vanessa. I added this one to my list when it got all that hype on um, YouTube, and then, so that's how I tend to do it. Like, I'll see a book that I think, oh, that looks interesting, and I'll add it to my want to reads on Goodreads, and that's why my list gets so big. Um, and I added this one, like, a while ago. It's been out for a while. When did this one come out? So this one was published in March 2020. Um... I do, this one definitely has some trigger warnings. Check those out before you go into it because um, I wouldn't want you to read it if it's something that triggers you. But basically, Vanessa begs her parents to go to this school and her parents are like, no, it's like a boarding school and they don't want her to go. And uh, in the end, she goes and she meets this teacher and it's all about the relationship between um, Vanessa and this teacher and... Um, you flick between Vanessa now and Vanessa when she was in school so like she's telling the story I think she's telling the, st the it's different timelines kind of jumping through different timelines and um, 
it was a little bit confusing but I think it was worth it for the story the ending I would have liked to have gone a little bit differently but it is what it is um again four star i probably wouldn't read it again but it's different to anything i've read before um averagely it's got about a four star so i think everybody has the same feeling it was difficult to read so that's that's the tricky thing isn't it when a book is difficult i wouldn't say like oh it was a great book because Oh, I enjoyed it because it's weird talking about like difficult topics and saying you enjoyed them but um, it was a good book and the topics are difficult and um, I've never read anything like it but again I would say check if this is something for you before you read it um, because I won't want you to read something and then it to trigger you. But yeah and again the cover is really pretty so again I'll have that there. And then the last book on my list is one I just finished this morning and it's called The Moon and More and it's by Sarah Dessen. Oh, my Vanessa was by Kate Russell by the way, I didn't say. But um, yeah, The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. It's my first ever Sarah Dessen book. Um, I'm not a huge romance reader or I wasn't a huge romance reader and I've been trying to get a little bit more into it and um, people had recommended Sarah Dessen so I picked one up and that's the one I picked up. Um, I gave it a three stars so I did like it and I would pick up more Sarah Dessen stuff but I wouldn't read that book again. Um, I liked that it was set by like a beach and it's set in like a a holiday camp kind of rental properties which was interesting there's a little love triangle nothing was too difficult to read which I think I needed after reading my dark Vanessa um it was all like upbeat and though I mean there were some things in there that weren't upbeat but kind of it's a coming of age kind of love story um set around the seaside um which I thought was really nice and there were like pears and candy floss and I don't know fried shrimp and things like that which was nice um the main character for me the the girl um i forgot her name oh emmeline the main character emmeline she was a little bit bland and also i didn't like either of the main boys in it either so like there's a little love triangle i'm trying not to spoil anything but um luke was like your typical like country boy um not for, and then you also had the Theo which was like from the big city and they were like a bit stereotypy for me but I did really like um one of the side characters so I'm hoping like I don't know how Sarah Dessen's book works you'll have to let me know but I'm hoping that there's a book on the other characters so like Morris who was Emmeline's best friend or friend from school and friend like from childhood um I found his development through the book really interesting and that is something that I really liked as well like you saw them the other characters that weren't necessarily the main characters kind of grow throughout the book as well where sometimes in books you're kind of shown oh this is this person's friend and then you hear about them only when it's necessary to, to the main character and they don't really grow and they're just the same character all the way through. So I did like that. Um, so yeah, those are the four books that I read in February. Um, I'm, February is a short month and it's the 26th of February when I'm filming this now. So I still have two days of February left but I don't think I'm gonna get another book read. Um, but what I thought we would do um, for March is set up a TBR or a to be read. Um, what I'm gonna do and this is how I normally do it, but I normally just pick one book at a time. Um, but I thought for the sake of the video, um, and so that I can plan what I'm reading in the month, we're gonna do it on camera, and then hopefully those are the books I stick to. Um, so I have 392 books in my TBR. I think I can read four books in March hopefully five but we'll go with four so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up google and we're gonna do pick a random number between one and 392 we're gonna do that four times i'm gonna write it down and then we're gonna see what those books um line up with on the computer because that one has a list 
in number order. Okay, so the first number we got was 49. <gasps> That's what I added on ages ago. I'm just jotting it down. 49, 323, which would be one that I added on fairly recently. I just added on a whole bunch of classic books as well. So I'm a bit nervous that I'm gonna get one of those. Uh, number 10, oh my gosh. Number 10 is one that I added like right at the beginning of my Goodreads. And number 319. What I'm gonna do just in case one of these books is the second book in a series, I'm gonna run another number, but I'm not gonna use that number unless I absolutely have to. So that's 241. Normally the 200s are where I aim for because those are books I put on a little while ago but ones that I was really interested in because I wasn't that big on my Goodreads then. Okay, let's move to the computer and see what these books tally up with. Just so you can see, I've got it on Want to Read and I've got it in number order just there. So, I just wanted to prove that that's what I'm doing. Okay, the first number was 49, so let's find 49. That's not too far to go. Okay, number 49 is a self-helpy kind of, um, I, in my list I have everything but like every now and again I like to read not necessarily a self-help but you know those ones that are like manifesting or things like that and the one that it's pulled is Influencer, I will put a picture up, Influencer Building Your Personal Brand in the Age of Social Media by Brittany Hennessy. Let's try that one then. Let's hope that it's not for self-help books. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, it's got an average of 3.75 on Goodreads. It's 272 pages. Hopefully I learn something. I'm excited to learn something. I think that's good. Okay, cool, number one. So the next one is 323. Ooh, 323 is The Royals Next Door by Karina Halley or how? Um, I don't think I know anything about that. Let's have a little look. It says, an ordinary summer goes royally awry when a prince and a princess move next door, bringing their handsome bodyguard with them. Ooh, handsome bodyguard. Um, from the New York Times by selling Karina Hal. And then it tells us more about the story, but I really would like to not know anything about it. It's 336 pages long and it is... It was released in August last year and it's a contemporary romance. So that's cool. So far we've got a nice mix. I'm gonna give myself permission to read these in whatever order I want. Um, Cause I think that'll be nice. <laughs> okay, I'm excited for that one. Okay, next up is number 10. This is one I'm really nervous for. Okay, number 10 is one that I added many moons ago um, and Last month, I don't know if you remember, I read one about trolls and um, I was like, oh god, this is like Twilight but way back when. I feel like this is going to be that. Um, so we'll see. It was published in 2010, which is fitting because it's number 10 on my list and it's birthmarked. So it says in a future in the future, in a world baked dry by the harsh sun, there are those who live inside the walled enclave and those like 16 year old Gia Stone who live outside, I don't know if I've said that name right, following, following in a mother's footsteps she becomes a midwife delivering babies to the world outside the wall and handing a quota over to be advanced into the privileged society of the enclave. Gia has always believed this is her duty until the night her mother and father are arrested by the very people they loyally serve. Gia is now forced to question everything she's been taught, but her choice is simple. Enter the world of the Enclave to rescue her parents or die trying. I mean, it sounds okay. It's got an average of 3.8 stars and it is 361 pages long, so we'll give that a go. And then the final book on my list, hopefully, is 319 so another whiz down so I 
think that's gonna either be a classic one or one that I've added fairly recently, like in the last few months. Um, so the next, we won't be needing that extra number, which is good. The next one in on this list is the third book in a series that is a series that I've read the first two books. It's The Dawn and the Prince um, from The Kingdom of Curses and Shadows. I read the first two, so basically the girl in this is from a dark like dark part of the kingdom and they fight monsters and she enters into um like to become the champion of the kingdom um it's by de Leteo. it's got f an average of 4.1 stars on goodreads um i'm actually quite excited about this one because i forgot that i needed to read this one is it out yet yeah it was published in june the cover is so pretty. Um, Zora is the girl's name and she lives in the Shadow Kingdom. That's what I meant to say. But um, yeah, I can't tell you too much about it, but that's a young adult, two young adults, a uh, contemporary romance and a kind of self-helpy book. So that works out quite well. Let me know if you've read any of those last four down in the comments below and what you thought of them, especially the influencer one, because I'm interested in that one and the royals next door i know has been uh doing its rounds so let me know if you've read that one and if you've got any books to recommend to put onto my tbr let me know as well and uh, thank you so much for watching i hope that you've enjoyed this don't forget to come back and check if i have completed my tbr in the next month's video and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>